Once in a small town lived Tony, the cap seller. He would make different caps with different fabrics and sell them in the neighboring villages. Selling caps was the only source of Tony's earnings. He never complained about how little he earned as he diligently did his work. And after fulfilling his basic needs, he would buy some fabric to make caps to be sold the next day. Tony earned from day to day, and that's why he never stopped working. But despite of the hardships and the very little income, Tony was a happy cap seller. And that's all because he loved what he did. He would always come up with great ideas to make amazing caps. He was very creative and gave 100% to each one of his caps. A little farther away from Tony's town, there was a small forest. It was a beautiful little forest with lots of flowers and fresh fruit. The forest was right in the middle of two villages. People would often have to cross the forest to go to the other side. Although it was a beautiful forest, there was one thing which bothered everybody. The monkeys of the big fat tree. They would harass everybody passing by and steal whatever the humans would carry through the forest. The villagers tried everything they could to deal with the monkeys. But finally, everybody gave up thinking that it was a forest after all. You can't possibly take animals out of the forest. It's their home. The monkeys were a mischievous lot. They would steal whatever the passers-by would carry and often mimic the passers-bys and laugh at them. That is my umbrella. Give it back to me this instant. <laughs> People would try their best, but finally give up. They were helpless. A few days later, Tony visited the village to sell his caps. He carried all kinds of caps, plain, bright-colored, polka-dotted, striped. There was not a single patterned cap anybody could think of that wasn't in Tony's basket. Caps, caps, caps! Buy as many as you wish and yet you will never have enough caps. Red, gray, and blue, wear any color and look new! Caps, caps, caps! The villagers came out of their houses as they heard Tony. Never had the villagers seen such beautiful caps before. Oh, these caps are really nice. Oh, they are so soft. They are so beautiful. Mother, can I please have one? These are so soft. I just can't stop touching them. And it was true indeed. Many of Tony's caps were made of silk. It was unusual to have silk caps but these were so pretty and soft that nobody could resist them. Many villagers bought a lot of caps from Tony. They also offered him water and food, but he refused. Oh, thank you so much. But I must carry on my journey. I have to go to the neighboring village, too. Oh, won't you have to cross that forest to go to the neighboring village? I guess I will have to. Oh, well, close your basket tight as you pass it, all right? There are a bunch of mischievous monkeys who steal whatever you carry. Oh, is it? I will remember this. Thank you for your advice. Tony collected all his money which he had earned by selling caps and walked away. He decided to explore the village before crossing the forest to go to the other side. He roamed around, admiring the beauty. Oh, I am so hungry. I should have eaten while the villagers were offering me. I don't have time to sit and eat now. I have to go to other villages to sell these caps. Never mind. I will buy something and eat it once I am in the forest. Tony knew very well that he has to sell all his caps if he wants to make enough money for the day. After wandering for a while, looking for food, he finally found a stall which sold delicious buns. 
He bought two and kept it in his basket. Tony walked all the way back through the village and reached the forest. By the time he reached, he had forgotten all about the monkeys and the old man's advice. He walked through the forest, admiring the beautiful flowers and the fresh fruits. He plucked a few fruits and wrapped them in cloth. At a distance, he saw the big fat tree. Whoa! That looks like a comfortable spot for me to sit and eat. Thus, Tony went to the tree, sat under it, and opened his basket to take out the buns. He ate the buns and the fruits and decided to rest for a while before leaving for another village. Tony was so tired and sleepy that he forgot to lock his basket. Hours passed, and Tony was still in sound sleep when he heard something. Huh? What is that noise? Whoever it is, shut up! But the noise went on. Finally, Tony opened his eyes and looked around. There was no one. And then he peeped into his basket. Tony was shocked. No! Where are all my caps? There was only one cap left in the basket. Tony panicked and began to cry. <laughs> Somebody stole all my caps. What do I do? He then realized that the noise hadn't stopped. When he finally looked up... Oh no! The monkeys! They stole my caps! And there they were. All the monkeys sitting on a branch, each of them wearing Tony's cap and laughing at him. No, I forgot what the old man had said. What do I do now? These caps are the only source for my earnings. If I don't get these caps back, then I won't have any money to buy new fabric for tomorrow. What will I eat? How will I earn? <sighs> you monkeys! <coughs> Give me my caps right now! <coughs> That's it! <coughs> Come down right now! <coughs> <coughs> as soon as the monkeys stamped their feet with force on the branches, some berries fell down. This got Tony thinking. Wait, they are mimicking me. <laughs> they are monkeys. Of course they are mimicking me. They are having fun watching me get frustrated. Hmm, why not use their trick against themselves? Tony dramatically fell to the ground to show that he was frustrated and that he has given up. He began to cry, constantly watching the monkeys by slowly tilting his head up. <laughs> oh no, what do I do now? All I have is this one last cap. <sighs> I guess I will have to be happy with it. Tony put the cap on his head and stood up. He then looked up in anger. You monkeys, I will teach you a lesson someday. Saying this, he took his cap off and in one swift movement, he threw it with full force onto the ground. Copying Tony's exact actions, all the monkeys, too, threw all the caps on the ground. Without wasting another minute, Tony gathered all the caps, stuffed them in a basket, and locked it. <laughs> oh, you stupid monkeys! <laughs> all right, goodbye now! Thus, Tony realized the importance to stay calm when things don't go as you want them to. Had he not noticed the monkey's weaknesses amidst his frustration, he would not have gotten all his caps back. Tony happily whistled his way out of the forest, sold his caps in the other village, earned money, and returned home. <laughs>